over the next few weeks, I'll be venturing to the very edges of Great Britain to discover some of the extraordinary lives and homes of the people who have followed their hearts to live the coastal dream. This crofter's cottage, dating back to the 1800s, is home to Callum MacDonald and his father, Ian, who's been tending to this glorious corner of sky for the last 70 years. Callum, pleasure to meet you. They look after this 100-acre croft, overlooking the waters of Staffan Bay, which includes Staffan Island, around 150 metres off the coast. Once a year, their sheep cross the water for their winter grazing, and I'm here to lend a hand with this unique method of farming. Never met a crofter before. He's your only apprentice. He's your apprentice. apprentice. You're the Yoda. He's your Jedi Knight. Still in training. Uh, who we got here? Pip. This is, this is Pip. Do you mind me asking how old you are, Ian? 85. You're 85. How old are you, Callum? I'm 51. You're 51. You're letting your father do all that hard work. Well, it keeps him going. Do you know when your old man to have a retirement? He won't. He won't. I've tried. Look at me here. Look at me. Do I have what it takes to be a good crofter? No. No. I'm keen to prove to these guys that I've got what it takes to be a crofter. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Starting by herding their sheep to the shed for a good shearing. But the guys have already left me standing. So there's me offering to lend a hand to Ian and Callum, take my coat off, put it in the jeep, turn around, and have done a runner. I don't think Ian likes me. <laughs> While most crofters move their sheep to the next field for the winter grazing, Ian's livestock are about to spend the next few months soaking up the views on nearby Staffan Island. It's over 50 acres of prime coastal pasture, exclusively reserved for these VIP sheep. But first, we've got to get them over there. The 150 metre trip is done on board an old World War II landing craft that's been in the family for 25 years. In years gone by, Ian used to swim cows across to this coastal piece of grazing heaven. The pastures over there look really decent and green and nutritious. Yeah. Why do you have to go through this extraordinary scenario to get the sheep on Staffan Island? Because my dad says so. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried to point it out that there's plenty of grass there, but no, no, they're going on the island and that's that. It may not be straightforward, but preserving the traditions in this part of the world is what makes Sky such an enthralling location. Now, that has been quite an extraordinary day. Good. And an experience I shall never forget. Excellent. Crofton ain't easy, is it? Well, if for someone like me. You'd manage, you'd cope. Pleasure meeting you, sir. No worries. You and your dad. <laughs> I feel honoured to witness a lifestyle which has taken place in Staffan for generations, and long may it continue.